It's time for English on the go, which means we're going to look at a clip sent to us from a native speaker who could be anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. And today, that native speaker comes from Austria, Austria. and her name is Bluint. 네, 호주가 아닌 Bluint 씨, 아스트리아 살고 있는 Bluint 씨에게 mm -hmm. 이야기를 들어볼 텐데요. Mm -hmm. Australia, Austria, they sound similar, especially yes. in English. For sure, they right? do sound very similar, very easy to confuse them. Yes, so Austria의 Bluint 씨. 첫인상에 대한 어떤 이야기를 갖고 있는지 바로 불러보겠습니다. 루엔 씨, 나와주세요. First impressions are inevitable. Forming our own opinion about somebody else's appearance or conduct is so intrinsic to human nature. Although there is a saying, don't judge a book by its cover, this is quite difficult to do in reality. In some situations, first impressions can be really important. For example, job interviews. And you may try to do your best to give off a good impression. But I wonder whether first impressions actually say more about the person who is forming the opinion about another. I bet if I was in a group of friends and we all met one new person, all of our first impressions would probably be different. And so it says nothing about the individual that we have just met. It just says more about the way we think and the past experiences that we've had. So maybe there's no way of controlling somebody else's first impression of you. Oh, mm. 굉장히 흥미로운 접근이었어요. Yeah, it was definitely very interesting what she said. I, I can kind of agree with that. <laughs> 네, 그러니까 첫인상이라는 것은 첫인상을 주는 사람보다 mm -hmm. 첫인상을 받는 사람에 대해서 더 많은 걸 말해준다. Mm -hmm. hmm, very interesting, right? It is very interesting. I'm excited to go over what she said with you. Let's go over what she said line by line, starting with the first line. First impressions are inevitable. First impressions are inevitable. First impressions are inevitable. 네. Inevitable. 피할 수 없는 이란 뜻인데요. Mm -hmm. Inevitable 이게 좀 생소하다 그러면 avoid를 이용해서 unavoidable. Unavoidable. They're exactly the same. Exactly the same. 네. 둘 중에 하나가 더 일상생활에서 많이 쓰인다고 하면은 뭐 unavoidable 좀더 가볍게 쓸수 있고요. Yeah, I would say in daily life we use unavoidable 음. a lot more than inevitable. 네, inevitable이 조금 더 academic한 느낌이 있어요. Yeah. 그렇지만 뜻은 완전히 똑같고요. Mm -hmm. 그 이제 evitable 할때그 e v i t 이 부분이 이제 avoid를 가리켜요. 그래서 mm -hmm. in 앞에 나오는 in은 안쪽이 아니라 이제 아니다란 뜻이고요. Mm -hmm. on 하고 똑같습니다. Mm -hmm. 아무튼 피할 수 없다는 것이 뭐냐면 first impressions 첫 인상은 피할 수 없다. 즉 it's inevitable to leave some sort of first impression. Mm -hmm. For sure, especially if you meet a lot of people. <웃음> 네, 어떤 형태가 됐든지 첫 인상을 남길 수밖에 없잖아요. Yeah. Sure. So they are unavoidable. And then? Let's see what she says next. Forming our own opinion about somebody else's appearance or conduct is so intrinsic to human nature. Forming our own opinion about somebody else's appearance or conduct is so intrinsic to human nature. 좋은 단어가 많이 나오고 있습니다. Mm -hmm. 첫 번째로 의견을 형성하다. Form an opinion. Form an opinion. 네, form an opinion. Mm -hmm. 그 다음에 외모. Appearance. 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 Mm -hmm. 그리고 고유한, 본질적인. Intrinsic. 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 Mm -hmm. 그리고 여기에서는 뭐 그렇게 자주 쓰이지는 않아서 표시는 따로 안 했는데 mm -hmm. 이제 conduct 하면 mm -hmm. 행동이란 말이죠. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Conduct is how you act. 네. Conduct보다는 보통 행동이라고 하면 behavior를 거의 많이 써요. Right. Conduct has more of a like, so good conduct or bad conduct. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can use it that way as well. Yeah, 그렇지만 behavior is much more commonly used. Sure. 그래서 어, 다른 누군가의 somebody else's appearance or conduct, 외모나 행동에 대해서 의견을 형성하는 것은 mm -hmm. is so intrinsic. Mm -hmm. 정말 고유한 본질적인 거다. Mm -hmm. Intrinsic의 특징 중에 이제 뒤에 어디에 좀 본질적인 거냐 할때 mm -hmm. to를 많이 붙여줍니다. Mm -hmm. Intrinsic to mm -hmm. human nature. Mm -hmm. 인간의 내재된 본성이에요. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sure. intrinsic to most of the time intrinsic to is followed by human nature. For sure, because that's one of the only things we can fully know yeah. that is fully kind of intrinsic to something, right? A part of human nature, something 그러면, we all do. 그렇죠. 그러면 동물의 내재된 본성이라고 하려면 동물이라면 We usually say instinct. Yeah. We use a different word, right? Mm -hmm. Human nature 말고. Yeah. 
So it's intrin not intrinsic then. Right. It wouldn't be intrinsic. Okay. Mm -hmm. 그러면 거의 human nature하고만 같이 쓰인다고 생각하셔도 mm -hmm. 맞을 것 같고요. Mm -hmm. 그래서 어, 인간이라면 누구나 본질적으로 mm -hmm. 다른 사람의 외모나 행동을 보고 의견을 만든대요. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what else she says. Although there is a saying, don't judge a book by its cover, this is quite difficult to do in reality. Although there is a saying, don't judge a book by its cover, this is quite difficult to do in reality. Although, 비록 뭐뭐 하지만, there is a saying, mm -hmm. 뭐뭐 라는 말이 있지만, mm -hmm. there is a saying 뒤에는 이렇게 따옴표를 붙여서 가기도 하고, mm -hmm. there is a saying that goes, mm -hmm. 다음과 같이 나오는 이런 형태도 만들어지는데, 여기서는 그냥 바로 따옴표가 왔습니다. Mm -hmm. Don't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. 어, 우리말로 번역을 하면 겉을 보고 속을 판단하지 말아라 mm -hmm. 또는 겉만 보고는 모른다 mm -hmm. 이렇게 되는데 지역하면 표지만 보고 책을 판단하지 말라는 이야기죠. Yeah, so for us we're talking about books. So as you mentioned in Korean a little bit, don't just look at something and judge it. Get to know it first yeah. and then judge it. Yeah, but we actually judge books by their covers all the time. Yeah, that's what she's saying. It's very difficult to not do that. Mm. We rely on our eyes a lot and what we see and what we feel at 네. first. 그렇죠. 그래서 저도 예전에 아주 오래전에 mm -hmm. 비디오 빌리러 가면 비디오 가게에 mm -hmm. 빌리러 가면 mm -hmm. 그 겉에 있는 표지 보고 좋은 영화인지 안, 안 좋은 영화인지 막 <웃음> 판단했었거든요. Actually, when I first came to Korea, there's so many different drinks in the convenience store. 아. So I would just look, oh, okay, that one looks pretty, so then I'll take it. 아, 한국어 잘 몰랐을 때? Yeah. Maybe. When I didn't really know Korean, I'd be like, 복수수 차, what is this? Okay, it's pretty, so I'll take it. 한국 처음 왔을 때, 잘 무슨 말인지 모르지만, yeah. 예쁜 거 음료를 yep. 골라서 마셨다고요. <웃음> 항상 우리가 하게 되는 것 같아요. 그리고 don't judge, don't judge a book by its cover는 좀 그냥 농담으로 don't judge a book by its movie라고도 해요. Mm -hmm. 영화화 된걸 보고 책을 판단하지 말아라. 이제 책이 더 좋으니까. Yes. In most cases, the check, the check, the book is almost always better. Yeah, I, so I don't agree. judge it by the movie. You have to see it for yourself, read it for yourself. That's right. Usually the movie <웃음> is very different from the original book. Mm -hmm. 아무튼 그렇기는 하지만 this is quite difficult to do 하기 꽤 어려워요. Mm -hmm. In reality, mm -hmm. 현실에서 실천하기란 꽤 어렵습니다. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Let's mm. see what else she says next. In some situations, first impressions can be really important. In some situations, first impressions can be really important. In some situations, mm -hmm. 일부 상황들에서는 mm -hmm. 어떤 상황들에서는 First impressions, 첫인상이 can be 뭐뭐 할수 있어요. Mm -hmm. Really important, mm -hmm. 아주 중요할 수 있습니다. 또는 중요할 수도 있습니다. 라는 mm -hmm. 문장이고요. 다음 문장 바로 보겠습니다. For example, job interviews. And you may try to do your best to give off a good impression. For example, job interviews. And you may try to do your best to give off a good impression. 예를 들어서 하면서 앞에 in some situations mm -hmm. First impressions can be really important 했잖아요. 일부 상황에서는 하는 것에 예가 하나 나왔어요. Job mm -hmm. interviews. 취업 면접에서는 예를 들어 You may try to 했어요. 뭐 노력할 수 있죠. Mm -hmm. To do your best. 최선을 다하기 위해 노력할 수 있습니다. Mm -hmm. To 그 다음에 나온 표현이 To give off a good impression. Mm. Give a good impression. 네. Mm -hmm. 좋은 인상을 주다 할때 사실 give off는 안 써도 괜찮아요. Yeah. You could just say to give a good impression. Yeah, give a good impression 해도 되고 give off도 맞습니다. Mm -hmm. Give off라는 것이 이제 off가 접촉되어 있는 것이 이제 mm -hmm. 분리되는 느낌이잖아요. So you give it off. Yeah, you give it off. If you picture something that's kind of sending out energy or mm -hmm. like heat, like a heater, it gives off heat, right? Ah. So everybody can see this, you know, image or impression. 네, 난방 기구가 열을 이렇게 뿜어내듯이 보내듯이 mm -hmm. 그렇게 할 수도 있고 you can send something or send something off. Mm -hmm. 이렇게 보내, 떠나보내는 느낌이 이제 off인데요. 그래서 yeah. give off, 인상을 주고 오는 거예요. Mm -hmm. 그래서 좋은 인상을 주기 위해 최선을 다할 수도 있겠죠. Mm -hmm. 자, 그 다음에 나오는 말이 이제 그런 대로 연결이 됩니다. Mm -hmm. 같이 보실까요? But I wonder whether first impressions actually say more about the person who is forming the opinion about another. Hmm. That is a very good point. Let's see what she said. But I wonder whether first impressions actually say more about the person who is forming the opinion about another. 
이 문장 전체를 잘 이해를 하려면 음흠. say more about 이걸 이해를 해야 될것 같아요. 음흠. say라는 것이 사람이 말을 할 때도 say지만 음흠. 이제 어떤 사람의 행동을 보고 what does it say about you? Yeah. So in this case, we're not talking about saying like as in talking, but someone's actions can say things about them. It can tell us about this person, right? It can tell us, it can show us. Yes. Mm-hmm. 보여준다라는 의미로 생각을 하시면 mm-hmm. 훨씬 쉽게 다가올 거예요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 I wonder whether 뭐뭐는 아닌지, 뭐뭐인지 아닌지가 궁금하네요. Mm-hmm. First impressions, 첫인상이라는 것들이 actually, 실제로 say more about the person who's forming the opinion. 그 첫인상이라는 그 의견을 형성하고 있는 사람에 대해서 더 많은 걸 말해주는 건 아닌가 mm-hmm. 하고 생각합니다. About another, another person. Mm. So, um, okay, That's 아시겠죠? True. Let's see what else she said. I bet if I was in a group of friends and we all met one new person. I bet if I was in a group of friends and we all met one new person. 앞에 나오는 I bet 이라는 것은 뭐 장담컨대 라고 번역할 수도 있겠고 mm-hmm. I think 라고 번역하셔도 됩니다. Mm-hmm. 제 생각에 어떨 것 같냐면 If I was in a group of friends 친구들이 모여 있는 이 그룹 안에 소속되어 있고 속해 mm-hmm. 있고 친구들이랑 함께 있었고 mm-hmm. And we all met one new person. Mm-hmm. 이제 처음 보는 사람이 온 거예요. Mm-hmm. 다 만났어요. Mm-hmm. 그러면 어떤 일이 발생한다고요? All of our first impressions would probably be different. All of our first impressions would probably be different. 저희가 느낀 우리 모두가 느낀 첫 인상은 아마도 probably be different. 아마 다를 거예요. 했습니다. 자 그러면 여기에서 our first impressions라는 것은 mm-hmm. 우리가 그 새로운 사람에게 준게 아니네요. Mm-hmm. Oh no no no. In that case, it's what impressions the impressions that were left for us. Okay. Mm-hmm. 우리가 받은 인상. Yeah, because she's saying it tells more about the person giving the the, the impression. 음. Right. 이거는 앞에 나오는 그 our, my, mm-hmm. your가 한쪽 방향만 가리키는 건 아니에요. Right. 그 문맥에 따라 달라요. 예를 들어서 제가 uh-huh. 매연 쌤에게 mm-hmm. 제 첫인상은 어땠나요? 라고 말할 때 mm-hmm. What was my first impression? 이렇게 물어볼 수 있잖아요. Mm-hmm. 근데 또 똑같은 표현을 써서 My first impression of Megan yeah. 이렇게도 말할 수 있어요. Yeah. So it can go both ways when you say it. So you have to look at the context. And in this case, I'm sure she was talking about all of her friends' opinions about the new person. About the same new, new person. person. Right. 그 다른 사람에 대해서 받은 우리가 받은 인상들이 모두 다를 거예요. Mm-hmm. 자, 그래서 And so it says nothing about the individual that we have just met. And so it says nothing about the individual that we have just met. 여기가 정말 재밌는 것 같아요. Mm-hmm. 그러니까 it says nothing. 그것은 mm-hmm. 아무 말도 하지 않는다도 mm-hmm. 되고 아니면 아무것도 보여주지 못한다. Mm-hmm. 그러니까 우리가 받은 첫인상이라는 것은 그 사람의 실체를 말해줄 수 없다. Mm-hmm. It says nothing about the individual, 그 개인 mm-hmm. that we have just met. Mm. 다 다르니까요. That's true. Okay, I'm starting to understand what you're saying a little yeah. bit more. 저도 Louis. 이해가 되네요. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. It just says more about the way we think and the past experiences that we've had. It just says more about the way we think and the past experiences that we've had. 네, 완전히 전적으로 또 이렇게만 생각할 수는 없겠지만 right. 그래도 일리가 있어요. It just says more mm-hmm. about the way we think. Mm-hmm. 우리가 생각하는 방식을 더 많이 보여주고 mm-hmm. And the past experiences that we've had, mm-hmm. 우리가 가졌던 과거 경험들에 대해서 더 많이 보여준대요. Mm-hmm. 그 어떤 새로운 사람을 만났을 때 우리가 느끼는 첫인상 자체가. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you have, if you've had some bad experiences with people wearing this kind of T-shirt or this kind of round, what do you call this? I don't know. <laughs> sweatshirt. A sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. Right. Maybe you will have a bad impression of me this, if this is the first time you're watching our show. Yeah, I agree. In some cases, your past experience can affect the way that you view other people. 네, right? 이렇게 과거의 경험 때문에 mm-hmm. 뭐 첫인상이 달라질 수도 있다라는 mm-hmm. 말이었고요. 이제 마지막 문장 하나 남았네요. Yeah. So maybe there's no way of controlling somebody else's first impression of you. So. Maybe there's no way of controlling somebody's, somebody else's first impression of you. 네, 여기서 한 단계 더 나아가서 mm-hmm. So maybe, 그러니까 어쩌면 There's mm-hmm. no way of controlling. Mm-hmm. 조절할 수 있는 방법이 없을 수도 있어요. Mm-hmm. 
somebody else's first impression of you. you. 네, you. Yeah, 그래서 me. 여러분의 대한 다른 사람의 다른 사람이 받는 첫 인상을 우리가 어떻게 컨트롤할 수 있는 방법이 음. 없을지도 모릅니다라고 하는 특이한 이 시, 시각을 음. 소개하면서 이야기가 끝났습니다. Okay, that was great. Thanks for sharing your opinions. And before we move on, we're going to see Blue Ones' clip one more time. First impressions are inevitable. Forming our own opinion about somebody else's appearance or conduct is so intrinsic to human nature. Although there is a saying, don't judge a book by its cover, this is quite difficult to do in reality. In some situations, first impressions can be really important, for example job interviews, and you may try to do your best to give off a good impression. But I wonder whether first impressions actually say more about the person who is forming the opinion about another. I bet if I was in a group of friends and we all met one new person, all of our first impressions would probably be different. And so it says nothing about the individual that we have just met. It just says more about the way we think and the past experiences that we've had. So maybe there's no way of controlling somebody else's first impression of you.